For three decades, Chile's presidential elections saw power alternating between centre-left and centre-right coalitions. On Sunday, that tradition came to an end. With nearly all votes counted, 35-year-old leftist Gabriel Boric won by a landslide, defeating far-right candidate José Antonio Cast by almost 12 points. We are going to expand social rights with fiscal responsibility. We will look after our economy. We have a balanced Congress. That is a reality. It is also an invitation and obligation to dialogue. These were unprecedented elections. Two candidates from outside the traditional centrist coalitions reaching the second round runoff, both offering contrasting visions for the country. I think it's a, it's a victory for Chile because the extremist Jose Antonio Cast wasn't going to do anything for the country in terms of cohesion. All the left side of the country really came together and, and think about, OK, it's, maybe Boric is not the best solution, but we need to be all together to, bring, to beat um, um, Cast. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's a big change. I mean, big, uh, Gabriel Bolic is more left than the president that were before, but to government, he has to make a lot of agreements. So maybe there were not so many changes, but I hope so. This victory for Gabriel Boric represents a major shift to the left here in Chile. And to have won by such a large margin gives him a mandate to deliver his ambitious social program. For decades, Chile has been viewed as a model of stability in Latin America, but the protests of 2019 marked a crossroads, a demand for change, and Boric tapped into that discontent, campaigning on boosting social spending to tackle inequality. He wants to do a, a tax increase to fund many of the, his projects, which I guess he's not going to get everything he wants, but he's going to get part of it as, as, as long as he set up a, a, a cabinet that he's able to to create a dialogue with the Congress and Senate. Challenges await Boric. The peso and Santiago stock exchange tumbled on Monday. Markets and investors see risk, but Chileans see change. Joel Richards for CGTN in Santiago.